All right, in this video, we're gonna go through my October stock photography earnings report. Now, if you're new to the channel, every month I go through and I share the revenue that I made from the different stock sites where I have my photos uploaded to. Let's get into it. All right, after a couple of months of Adobe being my best site for revenue, Shutterstock retook the top site this month and I made almost twice as much on Shutterstock as I did on Adobe Stock. This is really one of the crazy things about selling your photos on stock sites is that they really go up and down without much rhyme or reason that you can tell. If you take a look at my Adobe revenue for this year, like, any month, it can go anywhere from like $20 in the lowest month to $60 on the highest month. So it's pretty crazy how the range can change month to month. However, if I go back and I look at my sales on Adobe over the past two years, and instead of looking at it by month, I look at it by quarter, then you can see that really it does seem like Adobe is going up quite a bit. You know, if you look at the third quarter of 2019, I made like 160 some dollars. Well, if you look at all of 2018, I made 260 some dollars. So you can definitely see that Adobe stock is doing much better month over month. And to be honest, I do think that Adobe is kind of taking a chunk of the stock photography market away from Shutterstock. It hasn't been like this always, but it just seems like over the past year, Shutterstock, you see a lot of people talking about Shutterstock revenue going slowly down and Adobe stock revenue going slightly up. So I think that, you know, Adobe stock is starting to get better in to the stock photography market and they're taking a piece of Shutterstock's business. So if you have a lot of photos up on Shutterstock and you're doing well and maybe you tried Adobe Stock in the past but didn't find that you made a lot of sales, now might be a good time to go back in and upload some more photos to Adobe Stock because you might find that, you know, maybe a couple years ago you weren't making a lot of sales on there, but you know, 2019, you might find that you make more revenue there than Shutterstock, as I have been seeing over the past couple months. Um, so we'll have to basically see as we get into 2020, you know, which is going to be better. But I think that if I look at my total 2020, I predict that Adobe stock is going to make me more money in 2020 than Shutterstock is. But I'm going to keep uploading the same photos to both sites just, you know, to hedge my bets because I'm not always right about these types of things. So outside of Adobe and Shutterstock, I didn't have a good month on any other sites. You know, I didn't uh, get any big sales on Fine Arc America. I didn't get many any sales on my own website which can be larger ones as well too so it was a pretty low month but this is typical for me because a lot of the photos that I've taken I take them while I'm out traveling and I typically travel out in the summer so I have a lot of like summer landscape photos or camping photos that are typically going to do better in the spring and summer than they are in the fall and winter I do have some you know photos with snow in them and I've got a photo of pumpkins that does well in the fall but as overall my portfolio is probably better in the summer than the winter so I do see it start to dip around this time of year. One thing to note though is if you take a look at all the sites that I made a little bit of change on this month, Pexels is number four which is crazy because it was actually around this time last year when I decided to try out Pexels and I uploaded about like 50 photos to the site to basically see if I would get any revenue from it. Um, and although I haven't got a ton of revenue from it, it has done better than some of the older stock sites that I've got my photos on where I have 300 photos on. So Pexels, it continues to, you know, it gives me a couple bucks each month, um, you know, 10 to $20, which is not bad because it adds up over a year. So in total, I made about $150 in October selling my photos online. Um, so a pretty quick video this month because nothing really spectacular happened. If you're new to the channel, I do these videos every month where I basically go through and I talk about how much money I've earned from my photos on each site over the previous month. So if you sell stock photography, one of the things you know is there's constantly new sites popping up. And I try to get in and try some of those new sites and let you know if I'm making any sales to kind of save yourself some time trying all the new sites because most of the time they don't pan out but sometimes they do and I'll post about it on this channel. I also do other videos about how to make money selling your photos online. Lastly, if you're interested in knowing how I find time to upload my photos to all these different sites, one of the tools that I use is Photoloo, the tool that we've developed. And I'll put a link up here where you can go in and sign up for a free version um, and it helps you post your photos to multiple sites at once. Best of luck selling your photos online.